Hello, welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. May the peace of God be with you and your family and friends. Today we are going to share Psalms 74 and 75, powerful Psalms of the Bible, along with a message of reflection, but first leave your prayer request. We will include your name in our daily prayer book, subscribe to our channel and leave your like so you can help the channel share the word of God. Reflection Message Unity Masters say that spiritual discovery is lonely. Then why are we together, ask the disciple. You are together because the forest is stronger than a tree, replied the master. The forest is much more resistant to the wind, plus it helps the soil to be fertile, he continued. Root, but other plants cannot grow. And the master concludes, the path of those who communicate with God has the same objective and the growth of each one. Psalm 74 O oh God, why have you rejected us forever? Why is your anger kindled against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you bought from of old, from the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Lift up your feet to perpetual desolations, to all the evil that the enemy has done in the sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your holy places, they put their insignia on them as signs. A man became famous as he raised axes against the thick grove of trees. But now all the carvings at once are broken with axes and hammers. They set fire to your sanctuary, they have desecrated the abode of your name by tearing it down to the ground. They said in their hearts, let us spoil them at once. They burned all of God's holy places on earth. We no longer see our signs, there is no longer a prophet, nor is there anyone among us who knows how long this will last. How long, O oh God, will the adversary defy us? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withdraw your hand, that is, your right hand? Get it out of your breast. Yet God is my king from ancient times, working salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou hast divided the sea by thy strength, you broke the heads of the whales in the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces, and gave him for food to the inhabitants of the wilderness. You split the fountain and the stream, you dried up the rushing rivers. Yours is the day and yours is the night, you prepared the light and the sun. Thou hast established all the limits of the earth, summer and winter you formed them. Remember this, that the enemy has affronted the Lord and that a foolish people has blasphemed your name. Do not give the soul of your turtle dove to wild beasts, do not forget forever the lives of your afflicted ones. Heed your covenant, for the dark places of the earth are full of abodes of cruelty. Oh, do not the oppressed return ashamed, praise your name the afflicted and the needy. Arise, O oh God, plead your own cause, remember the affront that the madman does to you every day. Do not forget the cries of your enemies, the tumult of those who rise up against you continually increases. Psalms 75 To you, O oh God, we glorify, to you we give praise, for your name is near, your wonders declare it. When I occupy the appointed place, I will judge righteously. The earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, but I have strengthened its pillars. Saddle I said to the foolish, be not mad, and to the wicked, lift not up your forehead. Do not lift up your haughty forehead, nor speak with a stiff neck. For neither from the east nor from the west nor from the desert comes exaltation. But God is the judge, one he slaughters, and another he exalts. For in the hand of the Lord is a cup whose wine is red, is full of mixture, and give it to drink, but the dross of it all the wicked of the earth will swallow it up and drink it. And I will declare it forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. And I will break all the forces of the wicked, but the forces of the righteous will be exalted. Subscribe to our channel and leave your like.